The Duet External Drainage and Monitoring System by Medtronic is a complete system for the external drainage of CSF and monitoring of intracranial pressure. The Duet can either be attached to an IV pole utilizing the built-in pole clamp or hung by the cord and cord lock located at the top of the system. Begin by attaching the main system stopcock to the back panel. If the primary therapeutic goal of drainage is to drain at a positive pressure threshold, attach the main system stopcock into the lower location on the back panel, denoted by the picture of a patient's head and the word ventricular. If the primary therapeutic goal of drainage is to drain a specific volume of CSF per hour, attach the main system stopcock into the upper location on the back panel, denoted by the picture of a lumbar spine and the word lumbar. A pressure transducer can be attached to the main system stopcock by removing the red cap and threading the transducer onto the stopcock lure fitting. To prime the system, fill a 30cc or larger syringe with preservative-free normal sterile saline. Using sterile technique, attach the syringe to the patient line stopcock injection site. Rotate the stopcock arm as shown to prime the short section of patient line tubing first. Rotate the stopcock 180 degrees to prime the patient line all the way through to the drip chamber. Use care to ensure all bubbles have been removed from the line. If using a pressure transducer, prime it at this time. Using sterile technique, loosen the end cap on the transducer so fluid can flow through it. Rotate the main system stopcock as shown so fluid flows from the patient line through the transducer, flushing all air bubbles from the transducer. Once complete, retighten the end cap on the transducer. Be sure the patient line stopcock is off in the direction of the patient's catheter so fluid does not drain out of the patient line. Once priming is complete, be sure to empty the drip chamber into the drainage collection bag and rotate the stopcock below the drip chamber prior to opening the system to drain. Using sterile technique, attach the patient's catheter to the end of the patient line. Be careful to prevent air bubbles from being introduced into the patient line. The clear sight laser level can be used to level the drainage system to the patient. Clip the laser level onto the back of the main system stopcock bracket. Turn the laser on by pressing and releasing the black power button. The green LED should indicate the laser is on. Utilizing the built-in yellow bubble levels ensure the laser is horizontally level. Once the laser is on and level, raise or lower the duet drainage system such that the laser points to the correct landmark on the patient head if doing ventricular drainage or the exit point of the catheter during lumbar drainage. Using the blue knob at the top of the pressure scale, rotate the scale to the desired position. Raise or lower the drip chamber to the desired pressure level as indicated by the physician. Once setup is complete, the system can be open to drainage. Rotate the patient line at main system stopcocks so fluid can flow from the patient to the drip chamber. Before zeroing the transducer to atmospheric pressure, it's important that two conditions be met. One, the drainage system should be level with the patient. Two, the tubing between the transducer and the top of the drip chamber must be completely filled with fluid. Start by turning the main system stopcock off to the patient, but allowing communication between the transducer and the drip chamber. Lower the drip chamber until the pressure indicator window is centered at zero on the pressure scale. Press the zero button on the bedside monitor. The pressure transducer is now zeroed to atmospheric pressure. Return the drip chamber to the ordered setting. Rotate the main system stopcock off to the transducer and onto the patient, allowing fluid to flow from the patient to the drip chamber.